Hi, Gary here from Mr G Shave, back for another Wednesday straight shave. Uh, what number is it today? I think it's number 55. Um, yeah, what have I got for you today, hardware wise? Well, I've been uh, soaking my brush. It's a Samoag Owners Club um, bore brush. Squeeze it out a bit, give it a bit of shape. So yeah, this has been soaking while I've been having a shower. Um, and I don't know whether you'll be able to see it there. Let's see if I get my glasses on. But it should, you should be able to see Samoag Owners Club with Samoag in the middle. Um, great, great brush. I think this is probably, at the moment, it's probably my favourite ball brush. So I'm going to put that back in the water. The Bowl today is just going to be my Amazon bought. Um, let's get that the right way around. It's called Life Venture. Um, Life Venture Ellipse Bowl, usually used for camping and things like that. But I find it great because you've got this little lip here that you can hold with your thumb. So um, that's. Again, probably one of my favourite. It's the, one of the easiest to use bowls that I've got. Um, I haven't got a lot of bowls. I don't. I don't collect a lot of bowls. I've got a few, but my whole collection is up there or on the man, on the windowsill there. Um, so the razor today is my Vec. So you should be able to see that, and it's the. Sexta blade and this blade here is I've, if I'm honest I can't remember how many times this blade's been used but I'll change it out if it needs to be changed I doubt it does it, it it's probably only had about five to eight shaves already uh, and I know that you can get them up to about 14 shaves at a push so so that's the hardware um, I'm going to get myself ready for the shave as usual and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back, ready for the uh, shave. All lathered up. So how's your week been? We're having some great weather over, over here in the UK, aren't we lads? <laughs> um, it's actually gonna be about 18 degrees today, so that's quite pleasant. Uh, it's not it's not going to last I don't think it I think we're due some colder weather next week but um, at least this weekend coming is going to be a, a cracker by the sounds of it so um, barbecues get uncovered and things like that we had a great uh, Sunday smoke out um, uh, last Sunday I did uh, pork sausage with chive in the smoker and I did two spatchcock chicken with Cajun spice, garlic salt, um, loads of cracked black pepper. Um, yeah, it, it was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, real success. Oh, we had some barbecue beans. <clears throat> so, made with various chilli sauces, so it's quite spicy, a bit peppery, um, but yeah, very nice, with bacon bits in it. <laughs> so yeah, that was Sunday's barbecue, or, yeah, it basically was smoking from about lunchtime, 12 o'clock, all the way until about 7, um, and the chicken that came out was absolutely stunning. So it took a while for it to get going. I think it was because it was the first barbecue event. You, you had that sort of problem. First barbecue of the year, the barbecue doesn't sort of perform as you would expect. But uh, once you've blown the cobwebs out, it works well. Right, I'm gonna go for the first pass. So here we go, Vec Sexta Blade. <clears throat> Spine down, bring the blade down to flush to the face and then just slowly bring it out until you've got a cutting angle. It 
fantastic. Nothing wrong with this blade at all. <clears throat> I do love using this uh, shave it. This is definitely my favourite. It's the one that I feel most comfortable with in terms of shave it's not straight razors, cutthroat razors, but in terms of shave it's this is what I feel most comfortable with. So enjoyable. I often get asked what it, you know what is it about straight razor shaving? I don't know if I'm honest. It's the sound, it's the experience, it's the, the feel of the naked blade on the skin. Usually the people that ask are trying to persuade themselves not to dive down this rabbit hole, but It's not so bad if you go down the shavette route to start with, but don't kid yourself, you'll end up buying the full works. Uh, you know, if you, if you learn to enjoy the shavette, there'll be that itch, what will it be like with a straight razor? And eventually you'll buy a straight razor and a strop, and then you'll start getting into that, and then you'll buy more straight razors. It's just the way this hobby works. It gets its claws into you and, you know, just say goodbye to your wallet as it runs out the door every time you look at the internet. <laughs> right, let's get some more water on. I do enjoy shaving with a straight razor more than I do with a DE, I must admit. Um, there are some DEs though that I love using and I guess that's why I've got a preference for the more aggressive DE razors um, I had a comment from one subscriber better with every shave I think his channel is Eric um, about my comments on the Merca 34C and the DE89 and, and I, I, I agree with him I I actually made it sound almost like the Merca 34C and the DE89 um, were beginner razors and uh, and sort of put in that category. I think I did mention a couple of times in my shave that the, the Merca 34C and the DE89 are, are, are great razors for any an everyday user. Or I mean, they're not just classed as a beginner razor. Anybody can use them. Um, it's just that as you sort of learn and as you follow this hobby you will slowly find your sweet spot and that may be a Merca 34C or a DE89 that that's perfectly possible um, it certainly was my sweet spot in the beginning but I kind of then grew out of it once I got to the sort of game changer 0.84 and the Edwin Jagger 316 or the Moore Rocker and I got used to using those, I, I found the Merca 34C and the DE89 a bit too mild for my liking, but you can still get an excellent shave with them regardless of your experience level. And they shouldn't just be for, for beginners. So I just wanted to correct that. <clears throat> right, so here we go. We're going against the grain. So on this side, uh, not against the grain, across the grain on this side, straight up. Remember no pressure.
It was quite funny the other day. I went into uh, a local shop, shall we say, and the young girl behind the counter <clears throat> um, said, oh, I watched one of your videos. You helped me get to sleep the other night. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and she said, well, I'm into my ASMR. And I had to get her to explain what that meant. Um, but yeah, she watched my video with a pair of headphones on with just the sound. She didn't, she wasn't looking at the picture, just listening to me shave. <laughs> Apparently that helped her get to sleep, but yeah, wow. Has anybody tried this a ASMR? I haven't, I, I'm, I mean, I've now looked it up and I kind of get it. People sort of getting bits of crisp packets and, and, and sort of cr scrunching them in front of a, a stereo microphone or two separate mics going like that. Um, kind of get it, but I haven't tried it. I, I might give it a go. Got to get myself a pair of headphones first. Um, just had to rinse the cloth out. Let's carry on. This is just so smooth. As I said, I can't remember. This is between five and eight shaves in this, this blade and it is as smooth as the day I first put it in the VEC. Uh, VEC. I know some people strop the blade, I don't. <clears throat> But that way you probably would easily get 14 shaves with it. But no. I don't I don't bother with that. Uh, more water. Oh this is great. I'm enjoying this shave. love this brush it's it's nice and soft already it's not scritchy and i've only used it about four or five times doesn't really need that much breaking in i don't think it'll probably only get better but wow what a brush i don't i don't break them in like some do by putting soaking them put them in a fridge or <clears throat> i don't do that i just do it the old-fashioned way the traditional way. Just use it until it breaks in. Got to have patience. Beautiful brush this. Right. Third pass against the grain. comes to something when you shave the whole side of your face and that's all that's left on there. The rest is on my shirt. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, and it's under my neck as well by the looks of it.
we're getting closer to the thousand subscribers the big day when this goatee comes off but it will be grown straight back I've had to promise my daughters that I'll grow it straight back got to be wearing my uh, Christmas baubles for Christmas <laughs> for the grandkids <clears throat> But as far as I'm concerned, a promise is a promise. So at a thousand subscribers, this has got to come off. I forget where I'm at, I'm at 830 or something. So if anybody feels like subscribing, <clears throat> even though I'm dreading the day when I get to the thousand because I've got to shave this off, please do subscribe. There's a button down here that says Mr. G Shave. Um, just click on that and you'll be subscribed. And to all those that have already subscribed, thank you so much. <coughs> it, uh, it really does mean a lot. So let's have a feel around. Okay, I've got some up here, a little bit here, and the usual spots down there. So anybody got any plans for the rest of this week? What shaves are you going to, or have you planned if you've planned any? Or do you not plan like me? I don't normally plan. Like today I just came down, had a look at what I fancied, and just used it. I haven't talked much about this soap, have I? I don't know whether I actually told you what it was. So I'm going to show you again. Um, the soap is pine vetiver, vetiver and patchouli. There it is. Pine vetiver and patchouli. It's an excellent soap. Another 5 out of 10 in strength. You can definitely get the patchouli and the pine and the vetiver. Um, it, it's all there. That's the thing I like about these soaps is what they say on the on the label in terms of scents. What they say is what you get. <clears throat> um, you really do. Um, fantastic stuff, and it's it's good for straight shaves as well. So that's a bonus. Right here we go. Pick up pass. not much left there you can hear there's not a lot of feedback really good shave a little I have a little dip there that sometimes is difficult to get to <clears throat> so you just got to learn how to stretch. And are you thinking of taking up this hobby, straight razor, straight razor shaving? Fantastic. Are you preparing the um, <clears throat> the debate for your better half when you tell her you you've got to buy a strop and it's no, it's not a sex toy. <laughs> so yeah. 
because once you get into it, you, I don't think you'll ever turn back. I mean, it depends. Some people, you've got to persevere. So for the first, I would say, six to eight weeks, if you're shaving with it every other day, it's only by the end of eight weeks, I reckon, you'll be at a stage where you can do a full three-pass shave. Even Some even won't be able to do that. So, But you've just got to persevere with it and keep going. Right, I've still got a little bit around the neck. I didn't do this bit here. Yeah, that's as close as I ever get it. If I want it any closer, I confess I'm, I get a DE after I've finished filming and I just do that, that section there um, so when I'm cleaning up. But that's close enough. I'm not going to bother this time. Um, it'll do. The rest of it is BBS. Just confirm. Yeah. It's just this bit here that there's only a little bit of Velcro. It's just there. Right, I'm going to do my usual thing. I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back. Right, back for the post shave. Cold rinse time. Post shave feel with this soap is some of the best post shave feel. So I haven't done the post shave at all yet, but once you've taken off, you know, and you've, you've swirled your face off with hot water, your skin feels great, so cold water time now. Oh, oh that's so good. Oh. Oh. Always do my head as well. Especially when it gets a bit warmer. Put a bit of uh, alum on. <clears throat> a little bit of sting around here. A little bit of sting down here. I would say overall an average score of 1 out of 10. So that was a great shave. And it's BBS. Well, apart from there, a little bit of Velcro left there. Not a lot. <clears throat> so I can pretty much wipe that off straight away, I think. It's not burning at all. Really enjoyable shave. <clears throat> I can't recommend this so more, you know, highly enough. Really, it, it is. It, it's up there with some of the best soaps, even up there with Wickham's. Uh, and, and I really rate Wickham's and Signature soaps. I would put this up there with them easily. And that's not bad, you know, because. Um, I think they're, well, I know that they're fairly new to um, making soaps. And Carl and Samantha have hit it out of the park, I tell you. Um, I was about to put pre-shave on again. Cucumber. Cucumber facial toner, I think this says. I always thought this was cucumber and witch hazel, but it works. It does. And that is great. And then you have to show Jovan Musk. Apparently this was very popular in the 70s, 80s, something like that. But 
it's a great scent. Beautiful scent this. Oh yeah. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. And then I'm finishing up with Nivea Men Sensitive Pro Ultra Calming Balm. So there you go. I've used this a few times. Not much of a scent to this. In fact, I don't think there is a scent. Not really, anyway. I'll just plaster that on. Oh. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of today's shave. So I'll see you again now for my head shave on Friday. And what have I got on Saturday? I don't know what I'm using on Friday. I might go for the twig. I've just glanced over and it's staring at me, going, go on, pick me. <laughs> so I might use the twig on my dome. Um, it's either that or the vector, the Blackland vector. So if you've got a preference, let me know um, for the head shave. Uh, and Saturday, I think I'm using my um, CB Shows lent me um, his Tatara Masamuni Nod Nodachi razor and I bought my own. So I'm, I'll probably use that on Saturday. Um, don't know what I'll use it with. Probably another one of these. Um, I've got eight of these samples to go through. and I think this is number four. So I've um, got another four shaves to do before I get through them all and decide whether I'm going to purchase them all or whether I'm just going to purchase a few. <clears throat> My guess is I'll purchase a few to start with. So that's it. Um, I'll see you on Friday for the head shave. Bye now.